Ain't no bitch in my lane now. Nah. No, I ain't dealing with no lens, no. Run around getting this bag. Can't get even get used to these chains. Your main nigga the lane, lane. Wanna give me a ring, buy me a coupe or the range, huh? This made me the shit, it's kinda strange. No, I ain't feeling his sway. Look at his shoes, look at his chain, huh? Goofy, goofy. Hola, como estas? So, I have a extra large shirt and I'll be making a two-piece biker shorts and a tank top. Sorry, I have pre-cut. I don't know what happened to the video. So, here, I will be cutting out the shorts first. But, when you cut out, make sure you don't cut close to the pair of shorts. You want to leave maybe an inch or two from the short so when you sew it won't be as tight because the more fabric the better So here, you will want to turn it inside out and stitch on the outside. Right now, I'm doing the shorts. Normally, I would use pins, but like I said in my previous video, I don't like using pins. So here I am struggling when I could use the pins. But the pins just help it stay um, more secure and in place. But I just feel like I work faster without the pins. My opinion. I don't know. So this part right here, I am using the pins. I just want to show y'all how do I use it. But basically, you just put the pins at where you want to sew. And as you sewing, you will take one out at a time. And I did use the zigzag stitch for this part. So for the shirt part, you basically would be doing the same thing, but only part you'll be stitching up is the size. Um, I did not make no casing for my elastic. I didn't think I needed. My shirt was kind of stretchy and it fit kind of fine, but it also depends on the material you're using. Thank you for watching my video. Hope you enjoy it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.